Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. How did Western Armenia, which became a complete Armenia, gain its independence? On the occasion of Asala Formation Day, representatives of Western Armenia visited the Yarabulur Pantheon. We will continue to make our tough voice heard by the world. David Babayan, 22 departed families have settled in Arachador. Armenia and the United Kingdom celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations. It's not accidental that Russia has placed its troops on the border of Eastern Armenia and Western Armenia. Nairi Hohikyan. After a one-year break, the Aragvas Ski Center opened in Javakh. On January 19, an online conference dedicated to the independence of Western Armenia was held via the Zoom, which was led by the President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. Here is a part from the President's speech at the conference. Dear compatriots, today we are gathered together to celebrate the Independence Day of Western Armenia in 1920, June 19, recalling that the birth of Asala took place in 1975. I ask you to observe a minute of silence in memory of Hrant Dik, who was killed in 2007. June 19, after the Second Artsakh War and the occupation by Azerbaijan of a significant part of the territory of Artsakh, Turkey and Azerbaijan are now legally striving for a change for military victory. Read the full report on our official website. January is a very significant month in the life of Armenian people. On January 19, the state of Armenia was de facto recognized. In 1975, Asala was created on January 20, when Gurgen Yanikian made an appeal to the Armenian people and traditional parties from prison. Only a group of young Armenians responded to Yanikian's call, who declared to the whole world that the Armenian people are alive and will never give up their legitimate rights, demands of Western Armenia, and a consequence of the genocides carried out by the Turkey. The delegation of Western Armenia, together with representatives of Armenian people and Asala fighters, visited Yerabulu military pantheon to pay tribute to the graves of our heroes who fell on the path of liberation of the motherland and to say that the whole Armenian people is the continuation of their holy work today. Once again, on behalf of the entire Armenian people, let's say eternal glory to our heroes. By 2021, we have distributed 20 documents to OSCE, 15 to UN, 4 to the Council of Europe that relate to humanitarian cultural genocide carried out by Azerbaijan, various political issues that generally have their impact and we will continue to distribute so that a voice of Artsakh is heard around the world. This was stated by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan, at a final press conference in 2021. As was noted by Babayan, this is reported by the press service of of RAMFA. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has fulfilled the functions, trying to do everything to protect the interest of Artsakh in various international instances, as well as not to stay away from geopolitical processes. The number of documents, official statements, messages, comments distributed by the department, overall it's 159, which I think is quite an active process that we have implemented, of course, together with our partners in Armenia, our diaspora structures, which is very important. The community of Arachadzor of Martaket region has 660 inhabitants. This was stated by the head of the Arachadzor community, Vahram Andreasian. According to the head of the community, after the end of the 44-day war, 22 families settled in the community. Kindergarten is attended by 25 children. The municipality operates in one of the vacant houses of the village. The medical center needs repair and we don't have a concert hall. A few months ago, the section of road connecting the village with highway was paved. The community is gasified, provided with electricity and water supply. Andreasian noted that the main employment of the villagers is agriculture. The Republic of Armenia and the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland celebrated a 30th anniversary of the establishment of bilateral diplomatic relations on January 20. Armenian-British interstate relation was established in 1992, January 20. Armenia and Great Britain restored interstate friendly relations after the collapse of Soviet Union in 1991 when Armenia declared its independence. The United Kingdom recognized the Republic of Armenia in 1991, December 31. Education and 
cells are not the only but an important area of Armenian British cooperation. In this area, Britain is implementing a number of programs. Armenia and the UK has also cooperated in the field of defense. The volume of bilateral trade is small. Let's not forget that the recognition of the Republic of Armenia by Great Britain on the territory of Western Armenia began not in 1991 but in 1920 and that Great Britain signed the Treaty of Severs. Why should a meeting of representatives of Armenia and Turkey have lasted for a long time if the opposite side did not really pursue the goal of following the path of reconciliation and peace with Armenia? Another question is, does the Armenian side understand this or not? If he understands what the Armenian side is interested in, if he doesn't understand, then why doesn't he understand? Analysis by Nairi Hohikian you can read on our official website. A ski center has been operating in Aragva village of Ahalkalak region for 11 years. This season, ski enthusiasts from different villages of the region visit the center and spend their holidays here. The ski center did not operate last winter due to the coronavirus. After one year break, the center was reopened in January. The ski racing coach noted that they have clients of every age group. The beauty of nature and the tightening of the sport do not allow sport fans to feel the cold. Children slide with great pleasure and follow every coach command to slide faster and smoothly. However, the center has a problem with closing. Sportswear has not been updated for 11 years. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.